I pray thee, good Mercutio, let's retire. The day is hot, the Capulet's abroad, and if we meet, we shall not escape a brawl. Come, come, thou art as hot a jack in thy mood as any in Italy, and as soon moved to be moody as soon moody to be moved. And I were so apt to quarrel as thou art, any man should buy the fee simple of my life for an hour and a quarter. The fee simple, O oh simple. By my head, here come Capulets. Gentlemen, good den, a word with one of you. And but one word with one of us. Couple it with something, make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give occasion. Could you not take some occasion without giving? We talk here in the public haunt of men. Either withdraw unto some private place, or reason coldly of your graviousness, or else depart, here all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look, and let them gaze. I will not fudge for man's pleasure, I. Well, peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. Oh. But I'll be hanged, sir, if he wear your livery. Mary, go before to field. He'll be your follower. Your worship in that sense may call him man. Romeo, the love I bear thee can afford. No better term than this, thou art a villain. I do protest I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise. To thou shalt know the reason of my love, and so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? I am for you. Draw and Bolio, beat down their weapons. Gentlemen, for shame, forbear this outrage. I am hurt, a plague of both your houses. I am sped. Is he gone and hath nothing? What, art thou hurt? Aye, aye, a scratch, a scratch, Mary. Tis enough. Where's my page? Go, villain, fetch a surgeon. Courage, man, the hurt cannot be much. No, tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as the church door. But tis enough, twill serve. I thought all for us. Help me into some house, Benvolio, or I shall faint. A plague of both your houses. They have made worms meat of me, I have it. And soundly too, your houses. This gentleman, the prince's near ally, my very friend, hath got this mortal hurt. In my behalf, my reputation stained. With Tybalt's slander, Tybalt, that an hour hath been my cousin, O oh, sweet Juliet, thy beauty hath made me effeminate, and in my temper softened valor's steel. Oh, Romeo! Romeo! The brave Mercutio's dead! That gallant spirit hath aspired the clouds, which too ultimately did scorn the earth. This day's black fate on bow days doth depend. This but begins the woe others must end. Here comes the furious Tybalt back again. Alive in triumph, and Mercutio slain. Thou wretched boy, that didst consort him here, shout with him hence. This shall determine that. Wow, 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 wow. Romeo, away, be gone. The citizens are up and Tybalt slain. Stand not amazed, the prince will doom thee death if thou art taken. Hence, be gone, away. Which way ran he that killed Mercutio? Tybalt, that murderer, which way ran he? There lies that Tybalt. Up, sir, go with me. I charge thee in prince's name. Obey. Where are the vile beginners of this fray? Oh, noble prince, I can discover all. The unlikely manage of this fatal brawl. There lies the man slain by young Romeo, that slew my kinsman, brave Mercutio. Benvolio, who began this bloody fray? Tybalt, here slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. Romeo that spoke him fair, bid him bethink. 
How nice that quarrel was, that urged withal, your high displeasure. He is a kinsman to the Montague. Affection makes him false. He speaks not true. Romeo slew him. He slew Mercutio. Now who the price of his dear blood doth owe? Not Romeo, prince. He was Mercutio's friend. His fault concludes but what the law should end, the love of Tybalt. And for that offense, immediately do we exile him hence. I have an interest in your hate's proceeding. My blood for your rude brawls doth lie a bleeding. But I'll immerse you with so strong a fine that you shall all repent the loss of mine. I will be deaf to pleading and excuses, nor tears nor prayers shall purchase out abuses. Therefore use none. Let Romeo hence in haste, else when he's found, that hour is his last. Bear hence this body and attend our will. Mercy but murders, pardoning those that kill. Yeah. Yeah. I pray the. Aiden! Well, I'm not supposed to film the whole time. Well, he's actually filming it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Scooter alert! Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. You can see from any angle I with these things, the but you can't. Yeah, you should, you should. should I jump off? Like, they don't get Run this over angle. here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb ways to die. First thing. Oh, the cutter carries it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Will you walk? <laughs> Robin Volio, beat down their weapons, gentlemen. For shame. Forbear this outrage. Shoot under me and shoot him. <laughs> oh, sir, you're Fasado. Fight. You can jump in front of me, you idiot. Aren't you supposed to? <laughs> okay, okay. The whole time I was mowing you down. Max! Max! For shame. Forbear this outrage. <laughs> you die. You die! You don't shoot me. When I shoot you, you don't. Look at him, he just constantly hits himself. He just always hits himself. No, that's what He's you're like, supposed to do. Yeah, you're supposed to hit yourself. This shall determine that. Romeo, oh. away! Be gone! The citizens Mr. are Whip. up and the table. Shut up! What's good? <laughs> Fighting a girl. Fighting a girl. No, you're fighting a boy. Oh, that's a that way. Yeah, my aunt's a lesbian. No nightingale. Look, love. Wilt thou be gone? It is not yet near day. It was the nightingale and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thine ear. Nightly she sings on you, pomegranate tree. Believe me, love, it was the nightingale. More light and light, more dark and dark I woe and woes. But now! <laughs> Nurse? Your lady mother is coming to your chamber. The day is broke. Be wary. Look about. Then window. Let day in and let life out. Farewell, farewell. One kiss and I'll descend. Art thou gone so? Love, Lord, I, husband, friend. I must hear from thee every day in the hour. For in a minute there are many days. Oh, by this count I shall be much in years, ere I again behold my Romeo. Farewell, I will omit no opportunity that may convey my greetings, love to thee. Indeed, I shall never be satisfied with Romeo till I behold him dead. Is my poor heart for a king's man vexed, madame? If you could find out by a man to bear a poison, I would temper it. That Romeo should, upon receipt, 
thereof soon should sleep in quiet. When the sun sets, the air doth drizzle dew, but for the sunset of my brother's sun, it rains downright. Five, five, what are you, mad? Good father, I beseech you on my knees. Hear me with patience, but to speak a word. Hey thee, thou bag baggage, disobedient wretch, I tell thee what, get thee to church, O Thursday, or never after look me in the face. God in heaven, bless her, you are to blame, my lord, to write her so. And why, my lady wisdom, hold your tongue, go prudence, smatter, smatter with your gossips, go. I speak no treason. <laughs> oh, God, ye god, god damn. You are too hot. God's bread, it makes me mad. Trust to it, bethink you, I'll not be forsworn. Is there no pity sitting in the clouds that sees into this bottom of my grief? Oh, sweet my mother, cast me not away. Delay this marriage for a month, a week, or if you do not, do not make the bridal bed in that dim monument where Tybalt lies. Talk not to me, for I speak not a word. Do as thou wit, for I have done with thee. O oh God, O oh nurse, how shall this be prevented? My husband is on earth, my faith in heaven. Comfort me, counsel me. Alack, alack, this heaven should practice strategements upon so soft a subject as myself. What say thou, hast thou a word of joy? Some comfort? Nurse? Faith, here it is. Romeo is banished, and all the world to nothing. That he dares ne'er come back to challenge you. Or if he do, he needs must be by self. Then since the case so stands, as now it doth, I think it best you married with the county. Oh, he's a lovely gentleman. Romeo's a dish caught to him, an eagle, madame. Half not so green, so quick, so fair and high, as Paris hath. Be shrew my very heart, I think you are happy in this second match. For excels your first. Or if it did not, your first is dead, or twere as good he were, as living here in you no use of him. Speakest thou from thy heart? And from my soul too, or else be shrew them both. Amen. What? Well, thou hast comforted me marvelous much. Go in and tell my lady I'm gone. Having displeased my father to Lawrence's cell to make confession and to be absolved. Mary, I will, and this is wisely done. Ancient damnation, O oh, most wicked fiend, is more sin to wish me thus forsworn, or to disgrace my lord with that some tongue which she hath praised him with above compare so many thousand times. Go, counselor, thou and my bosom henceforth shall be twain. I'll to the prayer to know his remedy. If all else fails, myself have power to die. 